Yo, the base iPhone 14 pre-orders are very low, which is a major problem for Apple and the founder of Apple, Steve Jobs' daughter, does not like the iPhone 14. I am fired up because I have figured it out! <laughs> this is spicy, let's dive in. How's it going guys, Max here. So in my previous video which I gave 5 solid reasons why you should not buy the base 14 and 14 plus, we came to the conclusion that the 14 Pro and Pro Max are the best options if you want to go for the 14s, but for the base models, you will get a better experience with the 13 Pro and Pro Max of last year than the 14 and 14 plus of this year. And I also said that whatever I say in that video, people will still buy the 14 in huge numbers and maybe I was wrong because data from the iPhone 14 series has been leaked and multiple sources confirmed that the pre-orders from the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus are way lower than they expected. In fact, the 14 Plus that we all thought might sell well because of its huge display is even worse with the pre-orders of the 14 Plus being even lower than the iPhone 13 mini which was stopped because of its low sales last year. And the base 14 also sees this decrease in pre-orders compared to the base 13 last year which is literally the same phone, we'll get to that in a minute but that brings us to our next point which is why is this happening because let's be real here we're talking about apple this is literally a smartphone company that is the best when it comes to advertising their phones and other products because i mean apple took the iphone 8 gave it a new chipset and called it the in quotes new iphone se and people actually bought that phone that phone sold well so why is this one not selling as fast well there are a lot of considerations or um factors leading to this such as a 60 hertz display on a 900 dollar flagship in 2022 but the major reason for this is that it's literally the same phone as the iphone 13. now right off the bat you might be a bit confused why this affects the sales of the 14. Well, this is why. The most sold iPhone in recent years is the iPhone 13. Exactly. Now you can see where I'm coming from. So, if you release a phone which is basically the same as the iPhone 13, which is the iPhone 14, you don't really expect it to do well. And yes, I know that people might be like, oh, but Apple fans buy anything Apple releases. Yes, true, but Apple fans are also human beings. So, when they don't see an improvement that is visible to the average user, they won't see the need to buy it or to change it. And when you put it at $900, you expect the worst. For instance, the iPhone 11 had a design and a better chipset than the iPhone X, so it sold well. The iPhone 12 had the flat edge design and a new chipset, so it sold well. The iPhone 13 had a different camera bump or camera look and a new chipset, so that phone sold well but the iphone 14 is literally the same as the iphone 13 so you don't expect it to sell well and for the 14 plus that just goes to show that if an average user needs a larger screen or battery they'll just go for the pro models instead of a bigger base model now despite the fact that the base models are not doing so well the pro models are actually doing very very well i mean you can actually see why apple improved both the hardware and software on those devices with the dynamic island the new always on display and much more so you can actually see why they are doing very well and next up the founder of apple steve jobs daughter eve jobs recently posted this about the iphone 14 on instagram which shows a man buying exactly the same shirt this actually shows that she wasn't really impressed with the new base 14s which might also be what influenced the um lack of expected pre-orders with the 14s and all that so with that being said tell me what you think about every single thing i've said about this video down in the comment section do you really think that the iphone 14 is a good value for money or would you just go for the pro models of last year or would you just go for the pros of this year tell me anything you really want down in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time peace